make sure that the opposing team knows how they, that they're here to play. The pilots are in white. It'll be Abilene Christian in the visiting purple. And it'll be Porter and Bereno for the opening tip. And the opening tip off is controlled by the pilots as they bring the ball up court. Working the ball around the perimeter. Up top with it is Presley as he works around the defense. Pulls up, loses control of the basketball, but gets it off over to Todd. Todd is defended by Franklin at the top of the key. Swings it left for Taylor. Taylor up top, wintering around the screen. Scores to dribble back out and set up the play. And as you can see, Abilene Christian is setting a tone seriously defensively. That's a rush shot right there, but that's a great, <laughs> that's a great bailout shot right there by Alec right there, uh, setting the tone. But that's a tough shot for them right now. And Abilene is definitely here to make sure that Portland knows it. He took the three with one on the shot clock, but it went. And the Pilots with the early 3-0 lead. Wildcats have it. A little up top over to Cook, now underneath. Holding on to it in the low post. Doesn't have any help. Trying to do something himself. A little turnaround shot, no good. And he'll try and control the rebound, but he fouled on his way to the floor. Now, this has also been a struggle for Portland this year, too, is on the rebounding end. They definitely want to make sure that they are able to actually get some good buckets, uh, get, getting easy one-shot attempts. Inbounding it is Little. Finds Cook in the corner. He's double teamed. Can't do anything with it. And there's going to be a traveling violation on Little. And a great job with the trap there by the Pilots defense. Definitely right there noticing where they were on the floor, setting a trap, getting it out of his hands, and making the turnover play happen. Wintering takes it up court. Over to Taylor. He'll hand it off over to Presley, who drives down the center of the lane, puts up the run. It's good. That was a great move right there. You can tell he made up his, his mind that he's going to be aggressive, get into the basket, and that's what they have to do on the offensive end. Minute and a half gone by. The Pilots with the early 5-0 lead and a foul on the floor. That's going to be away from the ball. And already two fouls, and the Pilots are in the early going. And this is a great matchup, too, with Presley against um, with against Little and, and Franklin. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how that this game plays throughout the, the rest of this game. Cook's shot was no good, but he was fouled, so he'll head to the free throw line for our first free throws of the night. Cook on the year, 8 of 12 from the free throw line, but three a minute and a half into the game and already three personals against the Pilots. And you can tell, and that's what we were talking about, of them setting the tone tempo-wise. And you can tell Abilene wants to get to the basket, and they are going to be very aggressive trying to get into that paint. Cook makes both of them. And Abilene Christian is on the board down 5-2. Wintering on the wing, defended by Little, crosses over. Out into the corner. Todd up top now, Taylor dribble drive in the left side of the lane, turnaround shot is up, it's good in the foul. Taylor will head to the free throw line to try and convert the three point play. And Portland right now needs to make sure that they're recognizing the way that Abilene is playing. They're playing aggressive defense, but see, nobody is helping. So it gives you an opportunity to take a guy one on one if you're just under control. Taylor's shot is good, but a lane violation, that's just inexcusable. You can't have that happen. And that, those are little mental mistakes that you just can't have happen. And those are things that Portland has to make sure that they are eliminating throughout this year. Abilene Christian beats the press. Here's Little, defended by Wintering. Now over to Franklin as they work it around the perimeter. Now back over to the other side for Franklin. Pilots not letting anything inside at all. Now working it back up top to Little, five to shoot. Out on the corner. And here's Tripp, drives, puts up the underhand shot, no good off the glass. Shot clock expires, but the Pilots will come back the other way with it. Here is Winter and pushing the tempo. Pulls up the free throw line as he dribbles back out. Set up the play. Now around to screen. Kicks out into the corner, three ball on the way, it's good! Bruce Presley from downtown, it's 10-2 Pilots. Nice set up there right by Wittering and Bryce just being ready to shoot. Picture perfect basketball right there. Franklin up top to Porter. Reno comes out to defend him. And as you can see, Portland's defensive intensity is picking up just a little bit, scrambling around, making them shoot contested jump shots. That's the kind of stuff that Portland wants to make sure that they're doing. Presley baseball pass to Wintering. 
Back to Presley, thought about the three for a minute, now back into the corner. Drives down the baseline into the corner, works it back up top, three-pointer on the way from Taylor, no good at the side of the rim, and a foul underneath is gonna go on Porter. And you look at that, and now, and see, that's what ball movement does. See it, as Alec drives to this basket right here, collapses the defense, easy catch and shoot for Bryce right there. That's textbook basketball right there. Presley with five points here in the early going. The Pilots lead at 10-2. With just over three minutes gone by here in the first half. Wintering inbounds for Presley in the corner. Now he drives, splits the defense into the corner. Taylor has another nice three. This look. one might have been nice. deflected off the side of the rim. Gets his own rebound, might have gone out of bounds. That was a great split right there by Bryce. Nice way to find his teammate right there in the corner. Just didn't go down that time. Wintering will inbound again from underneath the basket. Looking for help, doesn't have anybody. Now up top for Taylor, near midcourt. He'll let Wintering work the offense. As he sets a screen now on the wing, cross-court pass near side. Presley fires up another three, no good. Rebounds loose on the floor, and it'll be pulled down by Franklin. We'll push the ball back the other way. Can't be mad at that. You guys got, they got three good, legit looks at the basket right there, and all three just didn't go down. Now they just got to get another stop. Sirenich, who just checked in, has it. He's trapped underneath. Now into the corner. It's stolen by Presley. He saves it. It's tipped and controlled by Taylor. And that's great hustle right there. That's going to transition right here into something really good. Presley hands the ball off over to Todd, who turns around from a free throw line jumper, bounces around, and falls. He gets it. the friendly roll from the home rim. <laughs> that is just, it's something about when you make hustle plays like that, it always turns out into a good play. Look at this, goes up, hits that back rim, nice soft shooter touch right there. Franklin out on the wing with his team down by 10. Up top over to Parker Wentz, the senior guard who just checked in, leads the team in three-point shooting. And Alec needs to make sure that he is staying with that shooter over there because he can definitely light it up from outside. Franklin drives, takes about five steps, puts it up no good off the back of the iron. And the rebound controlled by the Pilots back the other way. Wintering pulls up from three. It's good. Alec Wintering from downtown. And the timeout will be... Alec Wintering with a pull-up three. Early in the first half makes the Pilots a 13-point leader here, 15 to two. It's just four and a half gone by here in the first frame. Travis Demers, Darren Cooper here with you on the W.TV. As the Pilots look to snap a two-game losing streak. Abilene Christian in the purple. As Wentz will pass it underneath and Par Porter turns around and puts it in and that'll snap the streak. Uh, that's that, that's one move that uh, Phil definitely has to make sure that he stays on his feet doesn't leave his feet and stays low on the ground. Hartwich pulls down the rebound. The three on the way from Wintering is good again as he now leads the way with nine points and the Pilots lead extended to 14. So you look at this, second chance points, easy shots going up for the three. That, that's what you want from your big man. Pilots continue to press near midcourt. Franklin has it, calling out for some help. And this is a great defensive scheme for Portland right now just because Abilene just doesn't have shooters like that. And if uh, Portland can keep them outside of this paint, they're in great position to win this game. That's and an error there from Sirnich who stepped out of bounds. And another turnover for Abilene Christian. There you go. And, and you see that's just not their comfort zone right there. They want to make sure that they can have lanes to drive to the basket. And Abilene hasn't been able to do that so far in this first half. For a team that's averaging over 80 points a game, they just have four so far. Wintering will kick it off a defender. And the Pilots will control. Alec, I want to see Alec get a little bit more assertive on the offensive end right now, it, just, just so he can set the tone for his teammates too. Todd finding Wintering up top again. And an offensive foul is going to be called. That's on Philip Hartwich, setting in the illegal screen. And this is also kind of on, the, on making on the point guard, too. You want to make sure that your big man has a chance to get his feet set just so you don't put him in that position, too. Lewis over to Sirnich again. Looking down as he tries some fancy dribbling, pulls up, runner is good. 
you'll take that shot. That was a tough shot. No, no, no ball movement. You can live and die with that shot right there. Wintering lays it up off the glass. No good. The tip in from Hardwich is right there for the two. Great job by Phil being around the basket right there. Great attacking by Alec right now. Getting to the basket. Down low to Porter. And a foul is going to be called on Hartwich. Two quick fouls here picked up by the big German center. One thing we haven't seen a whole lot of is Abilene Christian driving. Definitely, and that's been because of Portland's defensive scheme of zoning up, making them trying to drive through, shoot outside shots. They're actually pretty much daring Abilene to shoot the outside shots. And they've been good, doing a good job keying in on uh, number three for um, the A Abilene Christian. Here's Sirenich with it on the wing, defended by Jazz Johnson, just checked in, drives the baseline, puts it up, no good. Rebounds loose on the floor, and it's going to be controlled by Howell. Shot rejected from behind by Tyson, but a foul on the on the play. And that's a tough play, and that's the one the the one downside of playing a zone. It's tough to to rebound out of that. And if guys aren't in their positions where they need to to be able to get that rebound, you get opportunities like this where you're sending people back to the line. And I think they actually got Colin Russell with the foul there. Has yeah, the free throw no good from Lewis. Jaron Lewis, three of six on the year, entering tonight on free throws, now four of eight. Jazz Johnson, the freshman point guard out of Lake Oswego, running the offense. Three-point shot on the way, it's long, and Russell can't control the rebound. Abilene Christian now pushing it back the other way. Lewis up top, over to Wentz. Dribbling around, now out over to Lewis. And a travel call. So once again, the Portland defense forces a turnover. And you, if you've seen, Bryce was right there on the help side, being able to come back, help out, and forcing that turnover right there. Jazz Johnson. Over to Marshall. Now trapped up top is Tyson, who works out of it. Back over to Marshall. Marshall now decides to drive. Kicks it out. Tyson will be fouled on the floor. And that's what Portland has to make sure that they're doing. Just put your head down, go towards the basket. Abilene is not going to be quick and strong enough to keep you out of the paint. They don't have to settle for jump shots in this game. Johnson has the inbound pass deflected away and lets it go out of bounds. Last touch by Cernich. So they'll run an out of bounds play once again. <laughs> you can hear Coach Rev getting on his guys about actually setting screens. He's a, he's a, a stickler for paying attention to details. <laughs> Presley will hand it off to Marshall. Crosses over, spins around. Fadeaway jumper is good. Uh, Jarrell smooth. Marshall knocks it down. Smooth game right there. Never in a hurry out there. I, I really lo love to see his game out there. As you just see, nice little step back. Keeps himself un under control. Knockdown. Here's Sir, rather, uh, Wentz pulls up, shot no good, and Presley will come away with the rebound. Trying to push the tempo. Little set shot on the baseline from Tyson. He knocks it down. These transition buckets are turning out really good for Portland. It's getting guys in a rhythm, and with all of their shooters, that's very important. You want to make sure that you're getting into an early rhythm. Just seven points here in the first eight-plus minutes for the Wildcats. Sertich has the ball stripped out of his hands, loose on the floor, picked up by Tyson back the other way, and his pass is swatted away back the other way. And it's loose and still loose, finally controlled by Abilene Christian. Ooh. Little has his pass knocked away. Now Jazz Johnson comes away with it, and the Pilots have numbers. Pass underneath going up, an undershot, no good as Russell can't make it go. And it's out of bounds with the Pilots. A timeout on the floor with the far tonight there. Definitely, and they've set the tone defensively. As you can see, Abilene has only scored seven points, and uh, Portland is making sure that they're getting the shots that they want to get. As you just see, a lazy pass right there, and now Abilene coming out, out of a timeout with great energy right there. You kind of don't want, don't want that to happen, but that's what happens through timeouts. 
The runner no good, and the rebound controlled by Bereno, who checked back in, as Johnson will run the offense. Marshall, three-point shot on the way. It's good. Jarrell Marshall knocks it down. He's got such a smooth stroke. He really does, and that's what some, that's, he's going to be a big factor for them this year because he has such a smooth game. He can play three or the four. He can shoot. He can defend. He's going to be a key ingredient for their success this year. He's got five early points here. As Lewis has it, he pulls up, shot no good, and Marshall comes down with it. I said to you before the broadcast, how did they recruit him from New York and then Florida? Man, because th th this guy is something special, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. But just the way that Coach Rev and those guys are as people and just the, the attention to detail that they pay to kids and their future is something vital what draws kids to the school. Marshall will hand it off. Runner in the lane is good for Max Livingston, who just checked in. First action he's seen and quickly contributes off the bench. Portland is looking really good right now. They're getting where they want. They're getting the shots that they want, and they have a, they're having a lot of great motion offense, which is very key. Franklin called for a carry, and you, know, you talked about it before the broadcast about him you know, turning the ball over and that backcourt defense. He looks frustrated right now. He really is, and, look, and just look at this. Just a simple dribble handoff, one dribble, two dribble pull up. That's textbook basketball, and they work on those things plenty of times throughout the week. Pilots with the big lead here past the midway mark of the first half. Marshall has it in front of us here. He'll dribble up top. See right now, yeah, they want to get the ball moving just a little bit more. There you go. Off now. the glass and in for Bryce Presley. There you go, and that's what I say. You want to get if the ball if the ball isn't moving, bad things tend to happen. But Bryce just bailed them out. Got a nice easy basket. Now they just got to keep keep up the intensity on the defensive end as they're doing. Farquhar shot is deflected, but it's uh, put back good. and in. And as you can see right there is Cook with the putback. And a foul on the floor as Wintering tries to go up with it, but he'll get no continuation there. I know some of these guys sometimes wish they would have the NBA continuation. Yeah. Be able to go ahead and get count that basket. Unfortunately, the uh, NCAA hasn't uh, grown to that just yet. Well, they've adopted plenty new rules this year, which I'm sure we'll see the 30-second shot clock, one of them. Yes. The pull-up shot from Wintering. He knocks that down again. 11 points now from Alec Wintering. Alec is looking really nice and polished right now, and that was a nice pull-up that he did right there. Franklin drives the baseline, puts up the shot, no good, but he'll be fat. No, an offensive foul. He'll be called for the charge. And that that's something as a freshman he has to learn of how to use his athleticism. He's a freak. He, he's a freak body wise. And look at this pull up right here. Nice high set. Even though it's a contested shot, that's just a textbook pull up right there for Alec Wittering right there. And you mentioned Jalen Franklin at 6'2", 195. He doesn't look like a freshman. He does not. And the thing, but you can tell at, out there on the court, he doesn't understand how to play the game just yet on this level and it takes an adjustment period especially as a freshman because he's going to be able to do things athletically that he can just get away with but after that you have to learn how to play the game too Aiden Farquhar called for the foul that is the sixth on Abilene Christian so not yet into the bonus so Wintering will inbound finds Livingston he dribbles around the screen on the pick and roll can't find Moreno now back underneath He'll turn around, left-handed hook, no good up the front of the rim. And here's Wentz back with it the other way for the Wildcats. Great position by Big Fella right there. Just want to see him go ahead and be a little bit more aggressive finishing that. The jumper no good and wintering there for the board. And he'll push the tempo. And he'll be fouled in the backcourt, and that's going to send Alec Wintering to the line for a one-on-one. Jalen Franklin definitely has to make sure that he can keep his composure. They need to figure out a way how to get him some easy buckets. Abilene wants to make sure that they can set some, get some easy steals, get some easy leak outs and things like that. Trying to get their guys going offensively because right now all they're trying to do is go up against a wall defense and it's just not working for them. Free throw no good for Wintering, who is now just 8 for 14 on the year from the strike. 
and seeing right now they're having him come up right now if this is that if franklin is your go-to offensive guy you want to get him going offensively and trying to make sure that you're trying to emphasize we need to get him going wintering into the corner as it's deflected away after a wide open three was missed back the other way and A hot start for Alec Winterick tonight. 11 points on four of six shooting, three of three from downtown tonight. And this kid is just setting a tone, and w w just like what a leader does out there on the floor, he's coming down, as you just see right here, just sizes up somebody just a little bit bigger than him, pulls up, easy shot. Presley up top to Taylor. As Winter will now drive and kick out. Three ball from Livingston is good. Great ball movement again for the Pilots. And great setup right there by Wittering. Again, he's getting into the paint, which causes the defense to collapse every single time. And when you do that, you are going to set your teammates up for great, easy shots. And the Pilots out in front now 36-9. Franklin shot no good. As a whistle on the floor. And you feel you you feel for somebody like Franklin right now. He he has a great. Com you can tell he's very competitive, but he's just trying so hard to just find out a way just to get himself going and trying to help for his teammates too, just so they can get out of this slump. Franklin to the free throw line. His first one is no good. Just two for eight now on the year. As you just seen right there, there was nowhere for him to go. And but just his athleticism alone just put him in a, in a position to be able to have a chance. That one rattles out. Turning around is Farquhar with the putback. No good as Cook tries to fight for it, but Wintering comes away with it and pushes tempo again for the pilots. Presley pull up three in transition. He's good. Great Bryce set. Presley. Great setup right there. And you can just hear them come talking as they were coming down the court. Here it goes. Alec crossing mainstream right here. Knows where his guy is. Easy trail three. Pulling up for three is Green. That rattles in and out. Loose on the floor and controlled by Hartwich. And the Pilots come back the other way, leading it by 30. Dribble drive, puts it up, and under, it's in. And Alec is getting to the rim at will right now. He, he can tell he can get to the basket at his discretion, and he's just going ahead and doing it until they stop him. Abilene Christian is frustrated on an offense, can't get much going. Wentz drives down the center of the lane, tries to kick it out, or pass it underneath, and it's going to be knocked away by Hartwich. And it's kind of hard going up against a guy who's 7-1 sometimes, isn't it? And just watch this. Watch how Alec, he's sizing up the guy, and just he used his own team, his own defender against him in that situation. And that's just some, a point guard that knows how to play the game and has played this game for quite some time. Trapped in the corner is Wentz, and he's forced to call a timeout. Or, that's a great trap right there. They're just recognizing where you're out on the floor. Sometimes you don't have to have a, a scheme called. You just have to know where you are on the floor. And that's just that's just good basketball. Ball was actually knocked out of bounds by the Pilots. The inbound pass to Cook. As Little will run the offense. Tries to cross over Jazz Johnson at the free throw line. Puts up the shot. Bounces around. And it's loose and picked up by Demarcus Tyson. Tyson right. picks up his dribble. Johnson now into the corner for Rashad Jackson. Jackson puts it up off no good, and the tip no good. Another tip no good, and it's still loose on the floor and finally picked up by the Wildcats back the other way. Working it around the perimeter now into the corner. Three-pointer on the way from Wentz. That's no good. And the foul is going to go on Porter, who tried to rip the rebound away from Hartwich. See, now, and you can just see right now, because of the intensity that Portland is playing on the defensive end, see that shot over there by Wentz, that was a great look. But because the defensive pressure has been so intense this early in the game, that now this guy is thinking about guys closing out at him hard, playing him tough. And so it's in his conscious of when he's shooting, uh, I might have somebody running at me on this shot. Hartwich at the line. And makes the front end of the one-on-one. -on -one. The big man making his free throws. 
Yeah, and he has a soft touch, too, for a big man. He can, he can definitely do some good things. It'll be interesting to see how he develops out throughout the year. And he knocks them both down. And the Pilots lead now extended to 34. And it doesn't look like Portland is trying to let up on the pressure either with picking up full court. Swings it over to the near side for Cook, underneath for Porter. Cross court pass for Sirinich, who now drives the baseline, tries to go up for the jam, he's rejected, but a foul. But you like the aggressiveness right there by him. That, that kind of aggressiveness can definitely motivate your teammates, pick them up because they've been in a slump. You go to the free throw line now, you get a couple of knockdown shots. Now going down on the defensive end, you might have a little bit more energy defending. Jovan Sirnic from Nice, Serbia, makes the front end of the one uh, the free throws. See, look at that skip pass, bad closeout, and he has his mind made up. I'm going to the basket right there. That's the kind of aggressiveness Abilene needs right now, both on the offensive end and the defensive end. Transfer from Northern Oklahoma College, and he'll knock down the second one as well. Johnson will run the offense. Some help over to Marshall. Trap now up top. As Jackson, defended by Wentz, works it left for Marshall. Pulls up, fades away again. That one's no good. It's tipped and goes out of bounds, and it's going to be Portland basketball as they catch a break as Jalen Little couldn't hold on to it. And that's when that just pays off by guys just crashing the boards, doing little things, being aggressive, trying to have an act for the basketball. Johnson inbounds to Tyson. Now around a screen. Puts up the shot off the glass, no Ooh. good. It's still loose on the floor. And a foul gonna go against the Pilots. That was such a great drive right there by Jackson. It, once this kid really understands how to use his body, he is going to be something very scary when he's driving to the basket because I think he was, he didn't even recognize where he was right down there on that baseline. There are so many freshmen on this team that can contribute right now. Easily, and, and that's the scary, the great part about this team is that these guys are still learning how to play college basketball. because. People don't understand that it is a big transition from from high school, and it can be a, a scary transition for yeah, some guys too. But if you're around great a great group of coaches, great teammates that are going to push you and try to make and pull the best out of you, which Coach Rev and his staff do, it's going to put you in a great position down the down the line. Second free throw from Porter is good as he makes them both. He's one of the team's better free throw shooters. Marshall will hold on to it himself. Now he'll drive down the lane, put up the shot off the glass, no good. Unable to get his rebound as Porter will control. Johnson defending Little. Now into the corner. Thought about a three. As Lewis will pass it off underneath and a travel going to be called on Porter. And a lot of unforced penalties called against Abilene Christian tonight. Abilene is just overthinking right now. They're they're not recognizing where they are on the floor, just taking the simple, easy basket right now. But that's what defensive intensity can do sometimes to you. It can deter your confidence. Beautiful yeah. pass, the shot no good. Great look right there, great backdoor cut by Richard. Darren Cooper here with you in the first game of the Corpus Christi Classic. Portland will host Alcorn State on Tuesday while uh, Abilene Christian will head over to Colorado State, and then all those teams will join the rest of the group in Corpus Christi, Texas, over Thanksgiving break. Be interesting to see how Portland comes out of this timeout. Usually after a good media timeout, opposing team comes out just a little bit more fired up. Ball deflected after he missed both free throws. Tyson. Doesn't have any help, and Jackson will run the offense now. Down to 15 to shoot. Here's Todd with it. Todd picks up his dribble, finds a man, cutting, goes up, ball deflected away by Porter. And another foul. Christian. 
Oh, I guess they didn't call a foul. It looks to me like they signaled for one, but I guess not. <laughs> Here's Wentz with it. Now finds a man cutting. The shot is tipped from behind as Green can't get it to go. And now Johnson will work it back the other way for the Pilots. Around the screen. Had the man of the pick and roll, but holds on to it. And now you got to get off of it. There you go. Now you find somebody. Okay. The shot from Tyson, no good. At that time, there was a foul. And Jazz is definitely going to have to start learning as a point guard, too. If you don't have something initially, just get set up the offense, get the ball moving, get guys moving so they're not standing around because that's how you get stagnant plays, and that's when bad things happen like turnovers or bad shots. The shot from Tyson is good. As we were talking about this earlier today about Jazz Johnson, and this is a kid who was basically his entire offense in high school at Lake Oswego and now has to come into the Division One level and learn how to be a distributor too. And and that's going to be a big, big thing for him because the <laughs> offensive part, he's going to be able to go against anybody just because on talent because he's just that kind of a juggernaut, kind of an athlete freak. But he has to learn how to play this position on this level, with, which is going to help his team and know that he actually has a team that can help him out there. Tyson makes two of the three free throws, and the Pilots lead this one by 32. As Little calling out for help around the screen. Finds a man, Wentz, three-point shot on the way, no good on the catch and shoot. And rebound controlled by Todd. And seeing you can tell Portland is the doubt into him because they have somebody flying at him every single time. Underneath, and another foul called as Russell can't get it to go. We've seen a lot of fouls here early on in this game. It, it, a lot of fouls and a lot of turnovers for Abilene, which is a key disaster for a very bad game. And so they have to figure out a way how to get the ball where they want it and, and get some good ball movement going. But they definitely have, to, it has to start on the defensive end because Portland right now is getting to the line and getting to the basket at will. Does traveling to some place you haven't been before when you've only played two games and haven't played in almost a week, does that catch up with you? Um, if you have a young team like Abilene does, and if, but at the same time, if you have the philosophy of knowing how to move the ball, have it being a juggernaut on the defensive end, regardless of if you go on the road or at home, you're going to play hard. And that's something that a coach can't help you do out there. Russell misses both free throws after getting a second opportunity in the lane violation. And with 2.40 to go in the first half, Abilene Christian trying to cut into that 32-point deficit. Portland clearly having the size advantage there at the top of the key. Howell. Is going to lose it out of bounds and another turnover. Yeah, they, these guys have, I believe it's that nine, nine, nine turnovers. turnovers now. Nine turnovers to one assist. And that's just not going to cut it against a Division I team. You have to take care of the basketball. You have to be, make sure that you are playing great basketball, especially when you're on the road. Taylor knocks down a three. And the Pilots now have 18 made field goals to just three for Abilene Christian. Great penetration right there by Jazz, finding an open man at the top of the key. That's the kind of things that they want to that they want to see from him this year. Wentz the free throw line in the corner for Little. So back it around. As the ball stripped out of his hands, Howell nearly has his pass stolen. Very dangerous pass now into the corner. Gave up the open three, puts up the shot, no good. And Green will draw the foul. It looked like he had an open look, but decided to pass up the three. Has only attempted one of those all season. Yeah, and, and see, and that's just what the, the great thing about what Portland's defensive scheme is doing. They are causing such frantic thoughts by Abilene that they're even scared to take open shots. Green's shot is good. That is the first free throw he's attempted in three games this year. And Marshall will check back in for Taylor. Pilots lead this one 48-14. Second free throw is good. You've got to be impressed by a defense that's only allowed three field goals in 18 minutes of basketball. Definitely have to be impressed, and that's something that they are definitely going to hang their hats on. 
Um, and it's going to be interesting to see if they can keep that up in the second half because you can come out strong and play a great first half, but if you don't consistently do it throughout the game, it kind of goes to waste. Off the glass, no good. And Howell comes away with the rebound. Now Wentz with a minute 20 to go in the half. Long three-pointer from Little, no good as it's short. And the ball is going to be deflected out of bounds. Last touched by Cook. And the Pilots will get the basketball back. Minute 17 here in the first half. See right now, Abilene is still to, just letting Portland dictate what they want to do. You're down by this much. You need to be setting a tone defensively. Johnson has the ball stripped out of his hands by Little. And it went off his leg, so the Wildcats will take over possession. And look, see, but look at the difference. Portland is up full court pressing right now, and they're up by 30 plus. Abilene has been picking them up at half court, and Portland is like, no, we're not letting up any intensity defensively because we're not going to let you get a breath. That's the difference. That's how you set the tone in a game. Wentz three-pointer is no good and goes out of bounds off of Hayden Howell. Another freshman for Abilene Christian, a lot of freshmen for both teams. Just under 45 seconds to go in the first half. The Pilots lead this one 48 to 15. As Jazz Johnson runs the offense. Presley's had a nice game so far to Marshall. Thought about stepping back to take another shot, using his length to his advantage. Down to 14 to shoot. Free throw line jumper, no good. And the rebound control back the other way by Cook with the shot clock turned off for 20 seconds to go in the half. It looks like both teams have kind of been in a slump on their last little bit of the uh, half with Portland going one for the last nine and Abilene only one of their last 17. So both teams kind of struggling right now. So be interesting to see the kind of shot that they get right now. Not a good one and Portland will take over with two seconds left. Here's Presley one second long shot. No good for the Portland Pilots with a very, very convincing first half. That they were able to get what they wanted defensively and offensively on the opposite end. Pilots line uh, 60, almost 62% from downtown. They've only allowed one assist for the Wildcats who have the basketball there in the purple while the Portland Pilots are in the white. Sirtich's shot no good off the glass. The ball is tipped around, still loose and Looks like, Looks like it. And it'll be Pilots basketball. Come out of the halftime with a stop. That's something you want to see for on Portland side, Abilene. You're kind of discouraged because you want to come out of uh, out of a halftime just like this, down this much. You want to establish some kind of momentum just to build your confidence. Here's Wintering, who had 13 in the first half, missing the runner. We'll push it back the other way for the Wildcats to try and get a bucket in transition, but they'll be forced to run the offense. Franklin back up as he works around a screen. Drives down the right side of the lane, and he took about nine steps, and they actually called it that time. And see, in Abilene, it's jump ball movement. No kind of continuity on the offensive end. And they're just looking just out of place right now, and you just hope that they can just, just for their confidence sake, that they can just get it together, start having some fun out there, and just not trying to overthink while they're out there playing. Presley at the free throw line. Over to Taylor, who drives down the baseline, spins around, puts the layup, no good. And the rebound, pulled down. And see, and Abilene needs to take advantage of these missed shots by Portland. Portland has not been on a streak, and, and they haven't hit socks for a while, as the three just right there. Build on that momentum right now. Cernich, who hits the three. Has a whistle on the floor and a foul on the floor. That is the first field goal second half, about a minute and a half in or so. And Cernich, who's averaging almost 10 points a game, gets his first points of the night. And that's that's a big momentum builder for them. They have to build on that. Or he has seven points, excuse me. Here's the inbound to Taylor, who turns around. Here's the little baby hook, no good at the back of the iron. And a foul. two early fouls here, just a minute and a half in. Something we saw early on in the first half as well. Those fouls were in it. And see, and that's where Abilene can try to take advantage, see if you can get to the foul line, stop the clock. Now you can start trying to cut down on this lead, play little four-minute games within a game just to kind of get yourself with the confidence out there. There's going to be a held ball, and after the Pilots had possession last time, the Wildcats will get possession this time. 
Franklin looking for somebody. Now finds Serenich out on the wing. Now to the corner. Back out to Serenich, who thought about the long range three. Now he drives underneath to Porter. His shot no good, but another fan can head to the free throw line. And Port see, Portland needs to understand scouting report. If guys aren't really shoot shooting the three point the three pointers, no need to close out on them so hard as you just seen. He was able to get that nice drive right there, collapse the defense, find his teammate. Now they're at the free throw line. And if you're Abilene Christian, you want to win little battles right now as Porter makes the first free throw and almost two minutes into the second half, they've outscored the Pilots 4 0. This is now Portland Knight needs to start kind of getting a little bit pep in their step out there. Understanding, okay, we need to get a good possession offensively now to build back up on this momentum. Deron Porter now with six points, and the Pilots' lead has been cut to 28. As Winter pushes it up, has the ball deflected and stolen. Fifth turnover. Here comes Franklin back the other way in transition. Over to Cook, who launches a long three. No good, and Winter comes down with the rebound. Around, now over to the corner to Presley. Presley will back down. And an offensive foul is going to be called. Yeah, he just extended that arm just a little bit. He, uh, he had the position, but you can't extend that arm down there in the post, especially when you're that much bigger than your defender, too. Well, when, you get, when you're two plus minutes in and you haven't made a field goal yet after having such a dominant first half, what, what's happened? It, honestly, it's just it, just being a scale. And, and guys, they, they're they not getting the easy baskets that they were in the first half. Is that a, a see another foul right there? And seeing now this kind of stuff is slowing down the momentum that Portland had in the first half. See, there wasn't this many fouls so early on, and they were just getting into passing lanes, causing one shot misses, and getting out of transition. See, that's the kind of stuff you need right there by Alley. And Witcher is the lane. That they're going to mean. That's how they got out to a great early start in this first half. That's how they got this lead. That's how they're going to sustain staying. After being held scoreless for the first two or thirty of the second half, Alec Winter is on the street. Trip takes the distance with the lane on the other end. Now here's Porter back down, down, down. Tries to go up, but under his shot is no good. But he'll be he'll be with it. Yeah, that'll be a foul on Porter. 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 Pilots back up back top. Top to thirty with seventeen to wait to go here in the second half. They let 48-15 at half, and half the half time, both teams off a little low to start here. Start here. That's going to be big. Let's see what Portland, Portland does, does, does offensively. Let's see if they get into more and more offense, more motion, and off and off and get this ball moving, get guys get going, going around, 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 side to side. side, side. Yeah, yeah, let's have this one take a nice little nice little motion, motion off and off and get guys, guys moving. Presley, Presley, Cook, and not bad. He was looking for hard for hard switch. Good look, good look, too. So that's uh, that's, that's got a good deflection. That's something that's good, good, good. That's something good they can build on. From the inbound, inbound, Todd, Todd. Went to the round, and the round is and another the league is in their second night tonight. And then they need to just see how they stand my bad, 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 bad on that possession because as a point, point, point guard, you have to let your big man get established. Otherwise, you are going to put him in a bad position and easily get called for a moving screen. The pilot, the pilot put up 48 in the first half after now three minutes and 15 seconds and counting. Just two, just two points for the University of Portland. Freshman Franklin. He'll try and drive, now backs out, goes down the center of the lane, puts up the shot, that's good, and that is exactly what Jalen's going. Definitely, definitely. And when somebody like him gets going, that's all he needs just to build his confidence. And so now it can, it can turn into something dangerous for Portland. Underneath the shot, no good. It'll be deflected out of bounds and go back over to Abilene Christian. And that's right there. It's just all athletic and all strength right there. That's stuff that he can be able to do. But you see how hard he had to work for. Shouldn't be having to work that hard to get a bucket in his first field goal of the game. Here's Wentz with it. He'll be fouled in the back. And that one was on Demarcus Tyson. Already six team fouls in the pilots, and we haven't even hit the first media time out of the second half yet. Guys are playing with their hands a lot more than instead of moving their feet. And that that can uh, that's that's something you don't want to see, especially from your veterans out there. Franklin tries to dump it off and another turnover. That is the 13th of the game for the Wildcats. Here's Wintering. Now into the corner for Todd. 
Todd will dribble it back out as Tyson controls. Drives down the right side of the lane, off the glass, no good right there, trying to get the put back. The turnaround is good from Colin Russell. Great patience there from Colin nice. Russell. Yes, definitely took his time under there, got himself to under, to con under control. That's a great finish right there. Cernich tries to dribble it back, and he'll lose control of the ball, and the Pilots will control. And Marshall nearly traveled there, might have gotten away with one here. Is Wintering now back the other way with it. As he looks underneath, and a little turnaround, no good. Oh. Ball loose on the floor, and controlled by Cernich back the other way for the Wildcats, and he'll slow things down. Wintering defending Cernich there. He dribbles into a trap. Now fights his way out around a screen, and an offensive foul will be called. Great defense right there by Wintering. Setting. And they're shooting 61% from beyond the arc. While they've got 27 rebounds to the 21 of Abilene Christian, they're controlling the glass right now, and that's really important. That is important because that means that they're limiting shot and getting out and into easy buckets, especially on the three-point percentage right there. You can just tell that with Portland, they like to get out, but they're finding guys to shots because they're able to get to the paint so easily. They're 8 of 13 from downtown, while Abilene Christian is just 1 of 9. And that was one of the small things that we talked about at the beginning of them not being a great outside shooting team and because they like to get to the basket and they don't really have shooters. Marshall puts it up and in. Marshall. And another basket from Jarrell Marshall. Hasn't played a ton tonight, but when he's been in, he's been very effective. Very sound right there, getting his position, understanding his mismatch advantage right there. Driving the baseline now, kicking it out into the corner for Cook. Had an open look, but little decided against it. Now three, that's no good up the side of the rim, and Russell is there for the rebound. Johnson will now push the tempo, and that'll be deflected out of bounds. But control the possession. Toddle inbound to Johnson. Now he picks up his dribble and finds Marshall. Can't really do anything with it. Uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to dribble and pick up your pick up your dribble like that. Put you in a bad position. And the forced turtle will give the ball back to the Wildcats. Another three on the way from Cook. This time he hits it. You can tell he got he has a smooth shoot, shot, and they definitely want to make sure that they don't let him get going offensively because if all it takes for some shooters is just one. Marshall on the wing looking for help, doesn't have anybody, and dumps it off underneath for Todd. Todd turns around, his jumper is good, and the foul. He was calling for that, too. He, he wanted that. He knew he had the mismatch and just took his time. As, right, as you see right here, gets to a spot that he wants to, just elevates, uses his size. Easy basket right there in one position, in one possession. Todd Wentz heads to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Tries to extend that pilot 31-point lead. And he knocks that one down. Max Livingston into the lineup. So Livingston will come in to replace Todd. He'll take a breather. Pilots being outscored in this half, 10-9. Looks like they're trying to pick up the defensive pressure just to get themselves going again. A little over to the left side now into the corner. Winner from Cook on the way. That one rattles out. And Livingston, who just checked in, pulls down the board. Over to Johnson, who spins around, goes up with it, and he'll be fouled. That's something Jazz does very, we very well. Gets to the basket, knows, how to, knows how to use his body to absorb contact. I just got to go to this line, knock him down. The freshman out of nearby Lake Oswego High School. Knocks down the first one, averaged 30 points a game last year for the Lakers. Johnson's second free throw is on the way, and he hits them both. That's good. You like to see freshmen getting some good quality minutes right now, getting some experience out there. This is things that they you, you just can't teach in practice. 
I know Coach Reveno said that he was just sick of practice for a while, wanted to get it into the games. <laughs> Here's Wentz launching a three. That one's no good and going high up for the rebound and Man. pulling it down. Gosh. Jackson. And a great and Marshall one. for the two and one. Look at that. And that, that was an athletic possession right there. <laughs> you have Rashard skying, skying over everyone for that rebound. And that was definitely started on the rebound by Jackson. And he finds Marshall, who's now at the free throw line, as he's trying to get into double figures tonight. Jarrell Marshall from Mount Vernon, New York, by Palm Beach State Junior College. An unusual way to make your way to Portland. Man, especially in that nice sunny state, too. Jeez. <laughs> he must I be missing that right now. <laughs> I, I know he is. <laughs> Wentz crosses over and gets around Jackson. Little finds thought about it. Now goes up to the rim, puts it up. No good, but he led to the free throw line. Uh, and that's just a freshman mistake right there by Russell. Just leaving his feet, not staying on the ground. And that was just a fundamentally sound move right there. Al, and he just, now he's going to go to the line. Look at Richard, just come down with that rebound. Comes down, finds his teammate, finish and Marshall. That was a nice possession right there. Howell knocked down the first free throw. Six foot seven freshman from Midwest City, Oklahoma. Second free throw on the way, that is good. And lead cut to six and 27. Johnson finds Marshall. Now he passes it off for Bereno. Bereno with the easy lane and a nice dish there from Jarrell Marshall. Definitely, definitely great look right there. Portland is just doing, having their way out there. You can just tell they get to their spots. They're getting easy drives. Turnaround jumper there from Drake Green is good. That's a nice looking shot right there. It looks like they need to try to get him some, some better look. Nice move shot. Ball goes out of bounds. Green, a sophomore from Houston, Texas, averaging just under in the second half. First three or four minutes were a struggle, but they seem to have gotten back to their basketball game. They have, and as you can see, like Raveline, they're turning over the ball so much. They have 16 turnovers already, and it's it's just a bad disaster for any any good successful basketball game if you're turning the ball over. You need the ball to be able to score, and they obviously haven't had it for most of this game. Little near midcourt, Trapp gets it off the out of the corner. Wentz had the three, but quickly the defense collapses on him. Ball tipped away in another turnover as Livingston will bring it up for the Pilots. Turnovers are Abilene's kryptonite tonight. They just cannot seem to find a way to keep the ball. Johnson's shot was good, but not before he was called for pushing off. Yeah. Coming off right here, he needs to learn how to not extend that arm right there. That's when you just learn how to use your shoulder, use your body weight. He's already strong. That's just something that's going to come with time as, a, as he progresses as a player. He had a 30-pound advantage there on Parker Wentz, and it showed on that play. <laughs> Def definitely. Little finds Green as he looks for Lewis. Now underneath, outside Franklin. Goes up and under, puts up the shot, no good, but he'll head to the free throw line. And, and it's so it's so interesting right there. Franklin had a wide open mid-range shot right there, but he decides to turn that down and try to go to the basket where he's been struggling from the line. And so it really speaks to like his style of game. He really gets to the basket, wants to go to the basket, but he has to develop that outside game in order to be a dual threat and a, a positive threat for his team. He misses the first free throw. They just call a technical on somebody. They just call that on Bereno? I think so. Technical foul, number 32, Ray Bereno. I don't know, yeah, they did call it on Ray Bereno. on the pilot. I don't know what he was getting. Obviously, he was having some words for the official. Apparently, and he said something that he obviously did not like because he teed him up pretty, pretty good. Yeah, there were some quick. magic words that you can't say to an official, <laughs> and I'm sure some of those were, were used. Yeah. Green makes the free throw. 
Green had not attempted a free throw this year before tonight's game. I mean, just looking at his shot, he, he, he just looks like somebody that needs to definitely be a, a threat for Abilene, too, out there. And he, I yeah, guess Abilene, Abilene, yeah, I guess Barino was saying something, and he, he was Abilene laughing about it, but one. apparently the official didn't think it was so funny. I don't think Coach Revenue is going to think it's so funny either. No, not at all. He's having a word with Barino on the bench right now. Second free throw is good. So the freshman out of Jacksonville, Arkansas, makes one of two. And one of two from Green on the technical free throws makes it a 63-31 game. Johnson dribbles, pulls up, and he'll be called for a travel. Dragging that back foot. Yeah, he got it. He has to understand. Keep learning how to keep his balance while he's driving, keeping his head up, too. That's something the guys just don't understand how important that is when they're driving to the basket. Little now underneath, putting up the shot, no good, and pulling down the rebound is Hart, which is deflected away, and coming away with it is Franklin. Dishes it off, thought about the three, and a foul is going to be called as they got Rashad Jackson to go up for it and come down with the body. We can see here the look gets Jackson to go up, and he comes down right on top of Jared Lewis. Lewis, another freshman from Orlando, Florida, makes the first free throw. I see, Navalini is going to be a good, good team. And you can tell they have a lot of fun guys, and they just need to learn how to play together, understand what their strengths are, and just develop out throughout the year because everybody develops at different times throughout the year, too. And when you have a lot of freshmen and sophomores or a lot of transfers, too, as Abilene does, it can be tough at the beginning part of the season. Johnson spins out in trouble, controls his dribble. He definitely has to get off the basketball. He's dribbled out these last, last 15 seconds with the ball himself. Down to nine to shoot. Up top to Jack Jackson. Down to six in the shot clock. Pulls up, free throw line extended. No good. The rebound pulled down. down. The other way by Little. Little. Yeah, with that, with Franklin who launches a three. No good. good. And the rebound pulled out by Jack Jackson. Jackson pushes tempo, tempo, drives, goes the distance, and lays it in. The shot of Jackson gets the board, the board goes coast, coast, coast. coast. He's certainly showing the show that what it is by the time tonight. Yes, definitely. You know, it's, 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 it's getting out in open court by the back back. And that's just important to go back to back to home defense. Trying to keep the cavalry outside the tiny pain. They get another turnover right there, right there. Living, living, now to Jack, to Jack. Wide, wide, three, three, no good. just cannot seem to not turn the ball over in this game. Winter and crosses over at the free throw line, picks up his dribble for Russell, and gets it back. Crossing over, trying to make something happen himself, goes up and under, puts up the shot, and it goes in! Yeah, this kid can flat out just, he just knows how to get a basket, whether it's on one foot off balance, rushing at the end of a shot clock, he just knows how to just find the basket. <laughs> Wintering with 17, he was literally laughing as he walked down the court. The shot is no good, but the foul on Wintering, and that'll send Franklin back to the free throw line. Well, well, look, look at this. Right, Jack gave him a little inside out, up and under, hop, scoop shot. Yep, I'm still going to make that, even though it was tough. 
That's, that's, that's just not, you love to see those kind of shots like that, ha out there having fun, because that's what this is all about. It's all about having fun out there and doing what you love to do. Franklin misses the first free throw. And after scoring just 15 in the first half, the Wildcats have 18 pending this free throw. Make it 19 with 8.19 to go here in the second half. You see, they're shooting pretty good from the free throw line. They're, they're shooting good, 18 for 24. They've gotten there. It's just a matter of not turning over the ball. They turned it over 19 times tonight. Tyson's three, that one's good. The teardrop there from Tyson from long range. And the high arcing shot right there. Give himself a chance to knock it down. Back out with Little, swings it left. Great hand movement by Portland right now. Scrambling, deflecting passes. Going around, putting up the shot is Porter. A nice move there from Duran Porter. Very nice move, nice fundamentally sound too. Nice little jump hook. Wintering swings it out for Presley who catches and shoots. His three no good and a foul on the floor. Pretty obvious foul there on Russell who's trying to clear out and get the rebound. Christian, after having just four in the first half, Portland's turned the ball over seven times themselves here in the second half. Definitely, and seeing those are the kind of things that Abilene needed to try to capitalize on. They couldn't capitalize on the turnovers that they were getting. It's no point of really getting turnovers if you're not converting at the other end because basically it's just, just turnovers, that's it. But the point of turnovers that Portland has been able to do, they've turned them into actual points. So that's the difference between the two of them. Marshall's free throw was no good as the Wildcats come back the other way. Cernich has it up top to Little. Defense quickly collapsing, but wide open underneath with the jam is Gerard Porter. Just a little miscommunication right there, and you definitely don't want to see that, especially coming out of a timeout. Putting it up and under and off the glass is Bryce Presley, who saw a lane and took it. Nice, nice under control. Bryce just looking real smooth out there, like oh, as a veteran should be out there, in this, especially in this kind of a game. Thought about the three, working it left now into the corner, three-pointer on the way Great from ball Cook. Movement. Great ball movement right there. Ah, I just can't seem to finish those. Winter and can't control. He saves it. No, he didn't save it. It goes out of bounds. Nah, that was great, great effort, though. Great, uh, great hustle right there. You love that effort right there. Guys, just miscommunication right here on that put on that John nice dunk right there by Porter. And Wintering will take a seat. The junior from Concord, North Carolina. Very diverse area of players that Coach Revito has recruited from. Definitely, and that, that's something that, you know, has not been very uh, common for Portland, too, especially in history, because, I mean, he's been pulling guys from clear across the country over here. Background on the near side. Wentz can't do anything with it. Down to 13 to shoot. Sertich pulls up, has the ball stripped out of his hands, but he's fouled. Yeah. Well, you've got players out of us from Oregon, Washington, and California, but Ray Breno from Mexico by way of New Mexico Junior College. Mm -hmm. Jarrell Marshall from New York. Alec Winthrop from North Carolina. Kids from all over. I mean, I mean, the best thing you can sell them is like, hey, there's no sales tax here in yeah. Oregon. Hey, yeah, exactly. You know, hey, you, go, you buy something out here, you don't have to worry about paying no sales tax. I know uh, Jarrell can definitely appreciate <laughs> that from New York. <laughs> oh, it's, there's some pretty high sales tax in New York. Trust me on that one. Philip Hartwich from Cologne, Germany. I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of the place he came from. Yeah, that. I mean, my goodness. It, it's like, we're, just look at Portland. And it speaks to how Portland really is, too, just in general. The city itself is very diverse. A lot of people from all over love this place just because of the kind of city that it is. Here's the beautiful pass underneath, and Cernich can't do the alley-oop. Uh, that was that a nice pad. Yeah, that would have been very nice right there. Marshall into the corner, wide open three on the way, is good! DeMarcus Tyson from downtown extends the lead to 75-38. And seeing all of these plays are coming, these threes are coming in transition. Those are great momentum shots. You, those are good shot, good three-pointers, what coaches like to call. The ones that Abilene has been taking, 
have been all contested, trying to figure out a way just to get themselves going. That'll be another foul and another shooting opportunity as Porter will head back to the line. Russell called for his second foul. You can see Austin Cook out there. He's trying to huddle up his guys out there before this free throw, trying to stay on top of them as a senior should, too, being out there. You want to be a leader am amongst these guys, making sure that they, just because this score is what it is, don't give up out here. You want to play into the very last second. If you're going to play, if you're going to be out here just going through the motions, don't be out here because you're just wasting your time. Duran Porter's second free throw, that's no good. And Taylor pulls down the rebound. Jackson picks up his dribble, has it swatted away, and it's going to go out of bounds. And last touched by the Wildcats. You want to see a little bit more of an aggressive stance from Jackson when he catches. Right there, you, he had the ball literally in a non-threatening position and it, that, those kind of moments you just can't have as a, especially as a wing player. Turnover off the inbound pass and here comes Cernich with it back the other way. He'll drive, goes up with it and it's knocked away but Porter will control the rebound and he'll hold on to it and they'll run the offense. Now a wide open three on the way from Wentz. That is good. The first three-pointer from Parker Wentz, the team's leading three-point uh, shooter. And that's the first one he's made tonight. He's probably just having like, thank you, finally. I actually had a wide open look tonight, especially as a shooter, because it, it can be very frustrating when you're not able to get it going. Johnson spins around and tries to dish it off to somebody underneath. And it was last touch by Abilene Christian. Look at that, just wide open, nice wide open shot right there. These pilots, pilots have made 50%. I mean, 24% for the Wildcats, that's just. That's better than 12% they had in the first half. I mean, yeah, you have to, you, you have to look at this as the, the cup halfway full not halfway empty as best as you can because it has been a long night for these guys. Xavier Hallen in the walk-on from local Central Catholic High School checks in. He inbounds the pass and Taylor has his shot knocked away. Goaltending violation. Basket good. Goaltending and, and the basket Taylor. good for the pilots. Walk-ons are always good for a program because oh, those yeah. kids always work hard. Definitely and they, and, and they work hard harder than anybody because they doing this because they actually really love this. And it's not because they have the luxury of a scholarship. They want to be here. They want to be part of something special. And they're going to put forth the effort as Xavier has done this year, too. Three-point shot on the way by Little is good. Hallinan played in this arena for the Central Catholic Rams in last year's OSAA 6A state championships. Working it up top around the perimeter. Now here's Taylor drives down the lane, puts up the shot. No good, but he'll head to the line. Nice, nice drive right there. Nice patience. Can't leave shooters open like that. No, you just can't. And but that was just a great possession that they had that they really actually haven't had all night. Getting into the paint and actually kicking out to a wide open uh, shot. So Taylor back at the line. First free throw is good. Portland surprisingly hasn't been shooting that well from the free throw line this year. I mean, this game they're shooting just pretty much just at 50 percent, and that's something that has to definitely come up as this year progresses too, because that can come that can decide games for you. Second free throw is good, and in their exhibition game against Concordia of Irvine, California, their free throw shooting was awful for the first you know three quarters of the game, and then fortunately they were able to. You know, pull through at the end, and that's what helped them win the game. Definitely, and, and that's something that I know they stressed in practice, too, especially that week leading up to their very home opener. Out into the corner, here's Lewis with it on the baseline. His shot is deflected away. Wasn't really much of a shot at all. Hallinan goes out of bounds as Hartwich gave it to, gave it to Hallinan as he's literally falling out of bounds. Both of, both of them were playing the tippy-toe game right there on that baseline. So We're expected in the next week here over Thanksgiving weekend in Portland. Oh, man. Hopefully some of this food this week uh, would definitely warm me up, oh, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Abilene Christian with the basketball, trailing 79-45. Porter has it. Turns around, his shot is good, and the foul. So he'll head to the line for the continuation. Great right there. You, you like what you're seeing from Abilene right now. They're staying with it. They're staying active, playing hard, 
You're playing through all of this adversity, and this is going to teach you something down the line. And it, it, that's a great move, right? Just a strong move right there. But it's, it's something about learning how to play through these kind of games that helps especially a young team because it, it builds their chemistry. It builds their, you know, um, just their resilience against adversity. And you tend to find out who's going to be the ones that you can actually really count on late in the season. After being outscored by 33 in the first half, the Wildcats have outscored the Pilots in the second half. Here's Jackson with it, kicks it out, Howland and launches a three, no good. And you can tell the entire bench wanted that one to fall. Definitely, as definitely. As Cernich pulls up with it. And you, you always want, you folks always want that walk on to hit, get that first bucket, just get their confidence going. Here's another ah. chance for Howland in and he gave it up. He's gonna drive with it, puts it up, high off the glass, no good, but it'll head to the free throw line. And see, you love to see that too, especially from teammates. Nice little patience right here, nice little hesitation. Get to the basket, hey, get fouled, now go to the line. Now you definitely have a good chance to go ahead and get yourself on that scoreboard. Allen and also a member of Central Catholic's two-time state championship football team, and he makes the first free throw. And he breathes a little sigh of relief, getting his name <laughs> to the scorebook there for the first time. Second free throw on the way, that's no good. And the rebound controlled by Lewis. Now to just over three minutes to go in the game, and the Pilots leading at 80 to 48. Franklin finds Wentz, who launches a three, knocks it down. And yeah, see, and that's one kid. That's what he see. He had that one three-pointer in that corner. All he needs is that one, the kind of shooter that he is, and it can be a long night. It just too, it's kind of sad. It's just one too late. Jackson air balls a three, but right there for the putback is Livingston. You know, I really like Livingston's game because he's a guy that really just is always around the basketball, knows how to play the right way, does all the little things that they need out there. Livingston also from Lake Oswego High School. He's a senior. Serenich thought about it. Now he pulls up three. No good. It's short. And the rebound goes to Jackson. Jackson over to Jazz Johnson. His three is good. Jazz Johnson knocks it down for me on the arc. Great pass. Great push right there by Jackson. Finding Jazz Johnson on that pass right there on that in transition for that three. Easy money. Down to two minutes to go in this one. The Pilots lead at 34. Driving is Franklin. He goes up with it. The shot is good and the foul. So Franklin now with six points, trying to add on to that at the free throw line. Far cry from his average of 15 to the first two games of the season. As you can just see right there, he he's just naturally gifted physically to be able to get anywhere he wants to on the court. It's now he has to learn how to develop as a, a complete basketball player to how to use that to his advantage because they're going to need him to be able to score at will at times throughout the season. Yeah, he was in high school last year. It yeah. doesn't look like he was playing high school ball six, seven months ago. He looks like he was playing football for right? a college team, D1 college team last year. <laughs> Certainly does. Livingston thought about the three, now spins around. He'll turn around with the shot from the free throw line, knocks it down. Man, ne never in a hurry, Livingston. Always under control, always balanced on his shot. Nice move shot right there on the turnaround, Jay. Love to see that. Franklin the other way, his runner in the lane no good. The tip in no good. And going up with it is Lewis. He'll be fouled and head back to the line with a buck 22 to go. We've seen some pretty shooting here tonight. There have been some, some pretty shots. It, it definitely has. And look, look at this, going, taking a nice little turnaround, fake the little spin, pull back, swap. Nice money. Lewis's free throw is no good. 50% free throw shooter here in the early part of the season. Abilene Christian's going to head to Colorado State on Tuesday before they head down to Corpus Christi themselves. Second free throw is good. Livingston pulls up, three-point shot. That's no good. And the rebound comes down to Franklin. A nice little heat check right there for Livingston. Hit his last two shots. Hey, I need to see if I'm really hot right now. Don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. 
Lewis now goes up with it. His shot no good. Right there for the putback, though, is Hayden Howe. Under a minute now to go in this one. The Pilots' lead is at 30 at 87-57. And Howell doing a nice job cleaning up the garbage on the glass. Howell in and on the outside. Tries to split the defense. Now puts up the jumper. The shot no good up the side of the rim. And Wentz comes down with it. Nice little split right there. You just got to be a little bit more under control right there. Understand, hey, get to your spot where you need to. Franklin goes up with it. May have gotten away with a travel. Howell turns around, puts up his shot, no good. And the rebound will be pulled down by Colin Russell. Shot clock turned off with 22 seconds remaining in this one. And we'll see if Jazz Johnson will just dribble this one out. Yeah, hopefully he does. And you definitely don't want to, you know, have no bad blood going against a team like this. Um, Portland played well tonight. Abilene definitely showed up. They just ran into a superior team tonight in Portland. And the final couple of seconds will take off the clock and the Portland